Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Clone Evolution. And today, I'm already pissed off. <laughs> no, there were some uh, changes that were made to the software OBS, and I'll be testing it out for the first time on tonight's show. So, hoping it goes well. Something else was pissing me off, and I changed the subject and forgot about it, so that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I was going to be pissed off about. How could I forget? Now I was joking that uh, the person who chose to paint this room could have only picked one color to completely destroy the fucking podcast and that just happens to be the color they picked. Because the way my, my software works is it, it removes any background that's not the same color of my skin. And guess what the fucking walls painted? Fucking color of my skin. I was like, what are the fucking odds? Like, there's millions of colors in the fucking paint store, but they had to pick skin color. Fuck. It's so annoying. So now I'm like, do I put up a green screen or just fucking paint the whole room? It's like, God, it's so annoying. It's like, can you imagine, like, sitting somewhere thinking, yeah, I'm going to paint the fucking wall skin color. That's a good fucking color. God damn, how stupid. Ugh. Well, to be fair, they didn't know that I was going to be using this room for podcasting, but still, who the fuck picks skin color for a fucking wall? Like, God, that's going to be the ugliest color possible, for a wall, at least. <laughs> Not to ream on the color of my skin. <laughs> yeah, that did kind of sound funny there. It's like, my skin is the worst of <laughs> the color possible. Okay, at least that cheered me up. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't someone else's skin color. I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Man, you can make fun of my skin color all we want. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I was just finding it funny, what was it, uh, disc golf had a big event because what was it, uh, one of the players turned out had a white pride tattoo on his body somewhere, I don't even know where. Uh, the huge debate started about if they should ban anyone from having that tattoo, like, and then there was like other players that had like brown pride or like whatever color they were on, on their bodies and it was like well they're like those are fine but anyone who has it white pride those have to be removed it's like well isn't that kind of racist it's like if you're gonna have a policy where you're not allowed to say you're proud of your skin color <laughs> shouldn't it apply to everyone and not just one skin color <laughs> yeah i get it that like some people change that into like some fucking like racist symbology like in the 40s or 50s or something but dear god like how much longer do we have to wait before <laughs> people are allowed to be proud of their own skin color <laughs> and the weirdest part too is they interview the guy they talk to his friends he's like one of the nicest guys ever and he has all these people yelling at him calling him racist <laughs> Okay, I shouldn't laugh. That's kind of mean, but let's hope we get Hitler. That's nicer. Right? Hitler, Hitler. Oh, God. I'm still going to get my channel banned. I'll be like, work years and years to reach a thousand subs, and the day I do, I'll get a copyright strike or something, and they'll take my channel down. Oh well, at least I can laugh at disasters. I've had lots of experience with that. <laughs> oh well, no Hitler today. We'll have to wait for better luck. <laughs> it's like, man, when you can't get your hands on Hitler, it's always bad, right? <laughs> now I wonder if the makers of this game realize that when they're making all these like political people into characters, that it would make pretty funny content for podcasts. It's like, I really need Hitler on my team. He'll solve everything. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's try not to laugh so much. I got to try to record here. Jeez. Now, I've still been feeling a little bit under the weather today. Actually, better than yesterday, so I'm thinking it's nothing. Probably just allergies. But I'm probably going to stay in and isolate for 10 days just to play it safe. 
Well, actually, I still got to go for bike rides, but I'll just isolate where I won't go near anyone else. Because I can't stay inside. If I keep staying inside, sitting at the computer, I'll start shitting blood again. <laughs> it's like virus with a 99.9999% recovery rate or shitting blood. <laughs> it's like, which sounds more dangerous to you? <laughs> Oh man, I gotta stop being so mean to myself. It's like I've turned my own blood shitting into the latest joke. <laughs> no, to be fair, I haven't had blood shitting for at least a few days in a row, so I'm hoping as long as I keep being active, I notice that's what it is. It's like anytime I sit around and just sit and play video games all day for like a week, I fucking start shitting blood like crazy. And as soon as I get back to being active, all of a sudden it goes away. And then I looked it up, and yeah, that's the symptoms for fucking, what is it, colon cancer. So I better not fuck around with that, right? I can't just be sitting around or I'll die. <laughs> that's motivation for you. It's like, stop playing video games. Why? Because you'll shit blood. It's like, all right. <laughs> it's like, I'm going outside. <laughs> No, it was pretty bad. Like, for a while there, I was just thinking, oh, there's little red specks in there. That's nothing. I just ate something red. Then I was like, oh, okay. This definitely isn't just little specks anymore. We're getting quite a bit of blood. <laughs> oh, come on. Gotta take this more serious. Could be dying, man. <laughs> No, I'm still doing the sober October thing. It's just, I don't know. Today, uh, I'm starting to get in a little bit better mood while just recently. All I needed was some, the opposites of everything that's supposed to be to cheer me up. <laughs> now, at first, like, I guess even all day today, I kept like, everything turning the opposite keeps pissing me off. I gotta remember, like, that's the ancient prophecy. Everything is gonna turn the opposite. Yeah, I just can't seem to accept it. It's like I keep going, oh, everything's turning the opposite. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, shit. I got the wrong team members in here. I was just looking at my team. I'm like, man, I got Wright Brothers in there. Oh, yeah, Wright Brothers is gold now. So he can handle his own in there. Oh, I got Budokai in there. Well, that's not good. She's weak as fuck. Yeah, I was like, I'm trying to ask that in the comments. Does Budokai actually get used for any evolutions? Maybe there's some heroes I don't have yet that use her. Or I do have them I haven't noticed. Alright, let's ch change the lineup here. Get Budokai out of there. I guess I didn't even read and really need Jane Austen yet because we didn't really get hit. <laughs> Did you guys ever see that commercial on TV where they're saying, depending what your skin color is, you can get free delivery? I was like, wait a minute, isn't that kind of discriminating and racist? <laughs> what happens if I told them I was that skin color? I'd be like, well, yeah, it's like, <laughs> then they show up, they're like, sorry, sir, now you have to pay for the delivery. It's like, well, <laughs> it's like, can I identify as different skin colors? <laughs> Or be like, no, there's someone of that skin color inside. I'm just collecting it at the door for them. <laughs> it's like, how would they know when you call, right? <laughs> it's like, hi, I'd like for free delivery. <laughs> They'd be like, sir, are you of this skin color? I'd be like, yes. <laughs> it's like, sir, can you send a picture in just so we can check? <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> and they show up and be like oh can't you just give me a little break I'm almost that color <laughs> it is that kind of insulting too it's like if that was your race and you were getting like free delivery does it make you sound like you're like weak and you need help 
It's like, oh yeah, you can't afford delivery, can you? <laughs> I'd be like, screw that. I want to pay double delivery. <laughs> oh man. Uh, God, what is it? Tomorrow's the seventh. I can hardly wait to vaporize again. I don't know what it is. Today I've been jonesing more than ever. I think what it is, is the little bit of stress I was going through. I was like, ah, oh, shit, I should just smoke a bowl and relax. Uh. Now, I did increase my calories a little bit today because I was on, what was it, 2,000 calorie diet for, uh, I guess, three or four days in a row. And I started to get a little bit of weakness. So I'm like, fuck, I got to really start boosting the calorie intake or it's going to get to me mentally and physically. Yeah, in yesterday's episode, I managed to get the, the gold pumpkin. And I was thinking about it. No one's posted in the comments yet what I should do with them, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use them. What I am going to do is link them in DNA. That's what I should do. So after I'm done these battles, yeah, let's do it right now. No, and then the OBS update said they found out some of the reasons why the lag was increasing. So I was like, oh, thank God. I thought I was getting the same problem as fucking XSplit. No, it was some changes they made in the last update, and it was fucking it up, causing lag. So at least they fixed it. Like, I bet you that's the same thing that happened to, what is it, XSplit, and they just never fixed it. So whenever that update came out, it's been lagging everyone's computers, and they still haven't fixed it to this day. And I'm thinking, God, that started happening to me like two years ago. So it's been going on two years that the software is broken. And this is something you have to pay a monthly fee to keep using. Or pay $200 for a lifetime membership. And in a way, I was thinking I got ripped off paying for that $200 lifetime membership. But at least I got to use the, the virtual cam or whatever it's called. So I don't need a green screen. If only my fucking wall wasn't skin color. <laughs> Or the color of my skin, I should specify. <clears throat> Was it the crayons used to say skin color and they had to change it? No, then I, I was funny because I was like hearing people saying, it's like, how come they made this the crayon so racist in the past? Well, I was like, well, unless you like actually lived in Canada, like in the 80s and shit, it was just European people here. So it's like we weren't making fun of anyone else's skin color because everyone's skin color in your cities was that. Well, there was the occasional non-European, but very, very rare. And I know it's hard to believe today because there's almost no Europeans left when you go anywhere. <laughs> So then it does make sense that people are like, man, why were they doing that in the past? <laughs> oh, fuck. People are dying. What did I pick to fight? I wasn't even paying attention. Did you guys see what I picked to fight? Oh, thank God it was the dungeon. I thought it was something else for a sec. Yeah, gotta stop getting so distracted. No, I was looking at the people are showing the stats for Tengu or when Samson turns red and he man, he looks good. And so people are saying, yeah, he is good. So I was like, shit, I can hardly wait till I get him. Yeah, he's got the peck going too, right? <clears throat> All right, so who had the DNA that was chaos? So I could give it to Samson or Alex could use it, but I don't know. Let's swap it with Sam. Well, let's see. Who else is weak and needs it? Yeah. Uncle Joe's pretty weak. He could use it. Yeah, this guy's pretty weak, too. I guess who's weaker, him or Uncle Joe? Oh, well, him, but not by much, eh? All right, well, let's give it to him. Oh wait, he's got two stars. Fuck. I wish, oh God, it's so expensive. Well, it's not that expensive. Let's just change it. So 13 to 17, yeah, that was a pretty good upgrade.
Holy, he's got two golds for DNA. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much DNA on these heroes because I know I'm going to be ditching them all soon for the red ones. So once I get my red line up, then maybe I'll start souping up the, the DNA because that'll probably make more sense because then I'll actually know who I'm going to need and whatnot. All right, let's change the DNA for Uncle Joe. Fuck. Oh, yeah, that is right. So it's an extra 1.4%, not too bad. <laughs> Alright, tempted to upgrade some chips because I think I have the materials that I need to do it, but before I do that, let's do some more other shit. Well, 15 seconds, man, that's a long time. <laughs> Oh god, hope I'm not getting a cough. Jeez. At least if I had the vaporizer, I could be like, oh, that was from the vaporizer, but no. Now, when I was recording the last show, I started to get a sore throat, and I'm like, fuck, is it from the virus, or is it just because sometimes I get sore throats from talking too much? And I did record two shows back to back, so I'm like, fuck, hopefully that's what it was. Or is. I was publishing some research today, or I guess yesterday, depending when you're watching this episode. I hadn't published any, well, it's not really published, it's just posted on Facebook. I used to do actual publishing, but I could still do that, but I was worrying that I was just going to get myself into trouble. Because I started to realize, like, everything I'm publishing, people can trace back to me, and the way the world's so politically correct these days fucking end up in jail for it and I'm not even fucking doing anything to make money off of it so it's just not worth the risk now as people are saying that in Canada it's like we got the most free freedom anywhere in the world and I was thinking yeah man buddy I totally 100% agree with that if it was any year but this year Canada has the worst fucking dictators out of any country I've seen like, I look at fucking Eastern European countries under fucking harsh dictator rules, and they got fucking more freedoms than we do now. It's fucking insane. But it's the opposite thing, so I gotta try to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, did you hear what they did to two Canadians today? Two Canadians that refuses to wear masks, they're now facing char- Yeah, they arrested them, and they're facing charges of six months in prison and a half a million dollars in fines for not wearing a fucking mask. You gotta be kidding me. And they're extreme, or not extreme, they're right-winger politics. So I was like, oh, is that what it is? It's like if you're a right-winger who doesn't want to wear a mask, now you're facing fucking a year in jail or six months? That's fucking crazy. But it's the opposite thing, so I guess I should just expect it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Is like anyone else's country doing that? Are you facing like six months in jail for not wearing a mask? Like, I could say that Canada used to have freedom, but I don't think we really qualify anymore. <laughs> Facing six months in jail for not wearing a mask. <laughs> I think what it was is they were flaunting it, though. They kept going to those rallies, like, organizing people to not wear masks or encouraging them not to. So that's probably why the government targeted them for arrest. And they said they went on a vacation. But I was like, man, everyone's been going on vacation. It's not like they're the only ones. Can you imagine you're in jail? Yeah, that's actually what it made a meme of when this whole mass thing started. Or no, it was, what was the outside thing. It was like a whole bunch of prisoners and they're talking to each other. And I, I wrote the, in the cartoon, the one guy's like, what are you in for? And the one guy who put or responded, he's like, for going outside. <laughs> it's like, what are you in for going outside? He's in there with like murderers and rapists and what's his charge? He went outside. <laughs> it's like he left his house and tried to go exercise in the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. <laughs> right, let's see if we got any new events. I gotta get my mind off politics here. Although it is kind of funny the way things are going. <laughs> Just so glad I'm not the person facing six months in jail for fucking not wearing a mask. Yeah, and I actually had some good experiences wearing masks recently. When I tried biking, it was so cold outside, I needed a scarf. Then I put the mask on, I'm like, hey, this works like a scarf really good. Because I had one of those cloth masks. So I was like, man, that's perfect. Oh, and the other thing too, I was biking the other day and I was like, fuck, kept inhaling bugs. I'm like, hey, wait a minute, the mask. I can just put that on, keep the bugs out of my mouth. <laughs> Now I tried breathing through the mask while biking really fast and it was harder. I don't know how many of those posts you can read online saying that wearing a mask doesn't make breathing harder. Well wait till you're fucking gasping for air. Then try it. <laughs> you can, it's easier to notice the difference then. Yeah, after this gaming is over, I'm going to watch the, the NBA playoffs. Depending if the Lakers are winning or not. If they're losing, then I'll watch. If they're winning, I definitely won't watch. Nah, I can't stand LeBron, not even with all the politics involved. I just don't like him because I'm a Raptors fan, and he used to always beat our team. So I always cheer for him to lose. Well, it's kind of mean to do, but I don't know. I gotta do some things mean in my life. Who am I kidding? I can do lots of things mean in my life. <laughs> hey, Super McDerper. Haven't seen him in a while. Victor, dunk it. Mmm, <laughs> got my window open, and ever since now that it's sober October, I can smell my weed growing outside. <laughs> Man, does it smell good. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. The one batch, I harvested a little bit early because remember I was saying it was completely out and shit. And it tasted a little bit too sweet, <coughs> but it was still okay. But I was thinking now that I've gave the, the rest of the plant time to age, and it smells like more like it was supposed to. A little bit more earthy than sweet. Because that's the whole reason I switched to that strain, Ghost Train Haze. It's more earthy. I don't like sweet weed. Like, I think I liked sweet weed the first couple times I tried it, and then I was like, after that, I just missed the taste of real weed. Oh yeah, I remember when I said I got that one weed that tastes just like peanuts? When I was freaking airing out the jars, what do you call it, uh, burping them or whatever, I burped the one jar, and it just reeked like peanuts. I'm like, what the hell? So that peanut strain that I grew still smells like peanuts. Has anyone else ever had weed that smelled like peanuts or even tasted like it? Like peanut butter? Well, not peanut butter, like the actual peanuts. It's the weirdest thing. I'll have to look it up online, see if anyone else has encountered that. I think what it was is I randomly spliced like four different kinds of weed together. And then uh, like just from seeds pollinating other plants and whatnot. I don't even know what some of the strains are. And then I ended up with a peanut strain. <laughs> I was like, God, that's not what I wanted, right? It's like, I don't know if anyone likes the taste of peanuts. I got some weed for you. <laughs> not that I can sell it or anything. If you're in Canada, I can ship it to you for free. As long as I don't send more than an ounce, I think that's what it is. <clears throat> now, I'll have to check into the laws of shipping cannabis in Canada. Holy, that's a hard team to beat, right? But their power level isn't that high, so maybe I would stand a chance. Should I give them one try, or just go to an easier team? How the hell is that guy's power so low? All those guys are like fucking unstoppable. Does anyone know? What's the trick? How are these people keeping their power level so low, yet they- Oh, that's why. They got one guy that's a weak one. So that's why I was thinking maybe people do that. They make their power level seem lower and try to trick people into fighting them. So this team I would just slaughter. So let's go to the first team. Oh, they're sixes, eh? Fuck. All right, let's give it a try. I want one action fight. I'll probably get slaughtered, but let's, let's see what we can do. Right, they're using fire, so maybe I should use water. Does that help? <laughs> Let's, let's hope. 
The only thing I'm thinking I stand one chance is that I got a better healer than they do. But other than that, I don't think I stand a chance. Hopefully my Samson can go first before their Samson. Finishing quick is supposed to be my specialty. Oh, fuck man, why'd you have to go for her? She was already at one hit. Well, yeah, Samson tries to finish the weak ones, right? Fuck! What the hell? Samson killed two people in one shot. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I don't even want to watch that fucking bullshit. Bullshit, you fucking cock-sucking piece of shit. No, chicken sucking, that's what I mean, right? Nothing against the sensors. Oh, fuck, man, that pissed me off. How the hell did we not stun Samson? You fucking stupid team. I'm going to play them again. Fucking kick the shit out of them. Man. Oh, maybe I better not watch the basketball game tonight. <laughs> Might have an ulcer. <laughs> Okay, this time Symphony fucking stun Samson. Better fucking stun Samson. There we go. Pieces of shit. Come on team, what's taking so long? Why are we always stunned? I've got the fucking anti-stun shit. Oh, of course he doesn't hit Samson. Great, now when Samson goes, two of my guys die and we didn't fucking kill anyone useful. Come on, Uncle Joe, freeze some people. Freeze, Joe, freeze. Oh, fuck, he freezes anyone but the one we need. Man. Oh, man, how did he not kill two people? It's like their Samson just wipes me off the map. When my Samson goes, oh, can barely even hurt him. There we go, just one death. That was better. Come on, Samson. We gotta finish him this round. Oh my god, he didn't kill anyone. What the fuck? Man, what an idiot. No, now his Samson will go wipe two of my team members out. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Alright, come on, Samson. We gotta finish one of those healers this time. Don't screw us around. Oh my God, he didn't kill them. What I don't get is how come I'm hitting everyone with my fire magic and they're never fucking burning? Oh good, Samson hit my hardest guys to kill. Alright, Samson, you got a chance now. Here's your chance, buddy. You can do it. Oh, he's a fucking sleep. <laughs> it's like, here's your chance. What are you doing? He's fucking sleeping. <laughs> Yes! Oh, she's just gone to a tombstone, of course. Fuck. No, bitch! Man, she fucking comes back to life and cures the whole fucking team. You gotta be kidding me. There we go, now she's done. Holy, so lucky. My Samson keeps dodging the other Samson's attacks. I was like, man, one hit by him and I bet she's dead. So I was gonna say, freaking stun the healer for a change. God, you're gonna let her heal the whole round? Oh my God, still didn't kill her. Oh, what the hell? She's dodging everything with no hit points left. Oh, you bitch! Oh, again! You gotta be kidding! 
Oh, now she's back to full. What a bitch. Hey, come on. We gotta win this battle. There we go. Now just Samson. Hopefully we got enough rounds to finish him. Is 28 the last? It better not be. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes! Take that other team's first team. So that's what should have happened last time. How he ever beat me, that was fucking bullshit. See, like, my team dodged it every time. Why did he fucking kill me first time last time? That was bullshit. Right, I'm just going to face an easier team because I don't want to get a fucking ulcer here. Let's finish him off quickly. Well, if I die on this team, <laughs> then I'll have the ulcer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just skipping this because they're so easy to beat. Alright, well I got my team 85 points. And I guess it's more fun to play a battle where you can lose. You don't want to always just be playing easy ones all the time. Oh man, that was stressful. Whew. Right, 84. I just want to finish these quick too. We'll check it out, see what it is. Yeah, still jodesing for the vaporizer. I went to grab for it again. I'm like, man, it's fucking five days later, still jonesing. Jeez. No, I think what it was is today I actually got a little bit of a buzz for a bit. I was like, what the hell am I buzzing from? I'm like, oh yeah, starting to burn fat cells. So I'm releasing a little bit of THC back into my blood. I was like, that's why I'm catching a buzz. No, and then last night I ended up harvesting some more of my plants. Don't got many left to pick. So, yeah, I think I only have one left outside. And then, uh, yeah, and I was like harvesting the plants while sober, trimming them while sober. And then I started to realize, it's like, man, I'm much better at that when sober. It's like when I'm wasted, I'm usually too wasted and I can never focus enough to actually finish trimming. Like, I don't know how many harvest seasons I've done where it's like, man, it's like I just didn't finish trimming any of it. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you guys have ever trimmed like 10 pounds of weed, but it fucking takes forever. <laughs> it's like, I think uh, one time I was trimming two pounds and it took me about 80 hours. I was like, holy fuck, by the end of that, I never wanted to trim another pot plant ever again. I was like, just get the shit away from me. I'll pay whatever you want. I don't want to trim it. <laughs> Now, if anyone's wondering what's going on in Canada with weed, like almost everyone's growing it now. So it's like, it's weird. The prices are still like somewhat stable, but it's like everyone's got pounds of it in their freezer now or jars or whatever they're keeping it in. Which is so weird too, because I went my whole life where normally the most I ever had was like a half quarter, maybe an ounce at most. Just when I was using it for medical and stuff before legalization. No, I was lucky because my back was so fucked that when I seen one of the pain specialist doctors, he told me that he couldn't get me the weed legalization very easily, but what he said he could do is just give me a medical exemption if I get caught. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, if you get caught, tell them that your doctor said you could and I'll sign a paper and waive you free. And I'm like, can you do that? And he's like, oh yeah. And I'm like, okay, I guess that's easier than getting legalization papers. <laughs> No, I asked him why, and he's like, well, he's been doing a pain relief doctor clinic for like, I think he said over 20 years, and he said he started to feel like morally obligated to offer like less damaging alternatives, because he said he, he realized he had ruined a lot of people's lives. Like, I forget, like he was saying hundreds of people he knew that he had given opiate painkiller prescriptions to, they ended up getting addicted and completely destroyed their lives. So... That's why he was like at the point where he was willing to fight the government. <laughs> Good guy. 
I hope he's still alive. He was a really old doctor when he told me that. So I had a feeling he would retire any year. No, his, his clinic or medical office got robbed so many times when he was in the city for people trying to get the opiates that he ended up moving his uh, doctor's office to an airport so that he would have airport security to protect his office. <laughs> like armed guards and shit. I was like, holy... It's like, that must be a rough job to be, like, to be one of those doctors that has to prescribe painkillers to people. Like a pain management doctor, I think his title was. No, I ended up seeing him because my doctor's like, holy, your back's fucked and we got to get you some pain medications. All right, let's collect all these. Do -do -do -do. All right, flower time. All right, so I've got an extra 200 tokens now from these flowers. It's quite a bit of flowers. How many tokens do I have? 300, so I'm at 505 tokens already. It's not bad. It's almost halfway to being able to complete the event again. Alright, let's do the bag and do some clone evolutions. Get those clones made. Boost them up. Alright, let's give it a... Uh... Yeah, does anyone know what happens if you have a YouTube channel and you accidentally say swear words you're not supposed to? Like, I don't know, there's probably a list of YouTube swear words you can't say. It's like, will my channel get deleted? Will just the video get deleted? Or how does that work? <laughs> well, let's do it with Alex, man. He's so weak right now, he needs it. He's a weak, pathetic fool. <laughs> I hit confirm. What the fuck? Alright, so Alex is at 130. That's pretty good. Okay, what do I need to do next? I forget. I did the dungeon, did all that. Just check here, it'll tell me. Is that thing even moving? Keep thinking it's gonna be on 60 and it's nowhere even close yet. Alright, so we got the clones, tavern tasks. I think that's it, huh? Don't worry, it wasn't a fart. It's just my chair squeaking, I swear. <laughs> No, you'd be seeing me go oh, if it was a fart. <laughs> right, so I almost got nothing left to do. And we're at 40 minutes in the show. And, uh, we'll get a quick message from the sponsor. And we'll come back and do some more battles. In oh yeah, the expedition. Let's do that. Be right back. Today's adventures were brought to you by Crack. Crack. It'll fuck you up. Woo. All right, welcome back everyone. Receive all, receive everything. <laughs> right, oh yeah, I was already telling you guys what I was gonna do. I'm like, what am I doing again? <laughs> That's one thing I miss about vaporizing too. It's like one of those crutches where you can always blame shit on it. And like, oh, my memory is so bad because of the weed. <laughs> Then when you're sober, it's like, ah, fuck, now I got no excuse. <laughs> <sighs> I 
Yeah, so when do you guys predict that my Hitler clone will appear? Think it'll take all the way till the next freaking casino event? I'm tempted just to blow through my fucking gem or casino tokens now to get them, but it's a little bit fucking premature, so I'll wait. See, ladies? <laughs> That's my specialty, too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's definitely not what she said. <laughs> Yeah, some days I wonder if my ex-girlfriends watch the shows. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> oh, man. No, some of them are still following me on social media, or we're friends on social media, so... It's a possibility. <laughs> now I have lots of different ways that I can make farting noises if anyone wants to see some extra ones. Anyone know this trick? <laughs> I always show it to my nephews when they're younger because they find it so funny and then they like try to learn how to do it and I'm like well the trick is see your palm oh it's got like that center spot what you do is you try to make that a cup see how I sort of made it a cup then when you put two cups together and squeeze guess what happens but if you do it even more special you can get extra different noises See what my show has digressed into today. I need the vaporizer back soon. <laughs> all right, we're on this, the last chest already. Who all died in my team? Gotta be at least one death, right? Oh yeah, you can change it. Let's see if I should change it. And uh, we'll keep it the same. Everyone's still alive. And this way, if this team dies, but I kill a couple of the other team, then maybe I'll have a chance to still wipe them out. Let's give it a try. They got a gold Dromino in there. I want to get him too because he's got that dodge. Remember at one point I wanted to build a dodge team? But then I made it to gold heroes. And then I was like, shit, now this purple dodge team is useless. So maybe I could rebuild that dodge team again, but it would have to be with golds. And then by the time I can do that, they'll be useless because I'll be fighting reds. Which is kind of a shame. It would have been neat to build that dodge to you. I worked on it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Never even got to try it. Now, Dromino looks pretty weak from what I can tell, so maybe I wasn't really missing out on much. Now, anything interesting video game wise in the news? Oh, I heard something interesting in the news. Did you guys hear about what happened to John McAfee? Apparently he got arrested in Spain and they're gonna put him in jail over not paying income tax or something. Which is weird, I didn't even know he had to pay income tax in Spain. Was he working there or something? Oh fuck, my leg's bleeding all over the place. <laughs> Shouldn't have picked that scab off. It's like, why is my leg so wet? No, it's like, oh, it's blood. <laughs> Ah, fuck, half my team's dead. Who killed them, did you see? And I'm not too worried, because I think my backup team will be able to take these bitches. Bloody gaping cockles. Doesn't it say that one of my heroes is still alive? What is going on here? Is that a glitch? We didn't run out of turns. Maybe it got disconnected, no? Well, we'll see. Yeah, he's gone now. What happened to him? He was still alive last I checked. <laughs> Alright, so maybe I'll put Crime Fighter here because he's probably still too weak. She's a better tank. Can bring in a lot of uh, fighters. Shit, Dromino is my next strongest one, so I guess I'll bring him in. 
So what do you think? Can my backup team finish them off quickly? <laughs> Let's put it on green because I got so many green heroes. Why not? Alright, wish me luck guys. This could be a disaster or a great success. I have to guess, probably disaster. <laughs> Yeah, the only reason I was thinking I stand a chance in this battle is because there's no one really that strong I'm fighting, but... Oh my god! How did Jeromino die? What a fucking weak ass. What a weak... Oh my god! My whole team is devastated and there's no one even hitting me! Fucking pieces of shit. What a useless backup team this is. Everyone's like, oh, use fucking Budokai. See how fucking useless she is? She couldn't hit anyone. Man. I don't get it. Dromino keeps hitting Crime Fighter and not getting poisoned. Like, what's the deal with that? How come I keep dying? What the fuck? Who's hitting me? Oh my god. Dromino just keeps going up and... Oh, you piece of shit. God, useless backup team. Fucking bunch of weaklings and they can't even kill them. What was there, three weaklings with like a hit left and they couldn't win. Oh, that sickens me. Like that should have been an easy fucking win. Stupid backup team, man. Like, I don't, I don't even want a backup team anymore. That was fucking bullshit. I'm just switching them over to DNA. They're fucking useless. They can't do shit. They couldn't even beat a fucking weak-ass team. Alright, so now I'm switching my heroes over to fucking DNA. I don't want a backup team anymore. That was the last straw. They fucking can't even beat a weak-ass team. They're going in the fucking trash. Pieces of garbage. Jeez, I fucking like LeBron James better than that fucking backup team. <laughs> No, uh, I imagine I could make friends with LeBron if we played basketball or something because at least we'd have that in common. And I would totally destroy him on the court because he couldn't fucking cry to the refs. <laughs> now, that's why LeBron, you notice his game went actually down the tubes as soon as refs could, or coaches could challenge the calls. And then all of a sudden the refs are like, fuck, we can't just keep giving LeBron all these stupid calls because we're just going to get called and overturned every time. So then all of a sudden LeBron's numbers just went fucking down the tubes. <laughs> His whole career was based on crying and letting the refs give him calls. That's how he beat the Raptors every time. It was funny, the one playoff season we were playing against LeBron James, our players would go in, no, what it was is, Le yeah, what was it? Our player goes in for a layup, gets just fucking elbowed in the face, someone eye rakes him, and he's fucking laying in a pool of blood on the ground, and the refs didn't call a foul. Then the play goes the other way, LeBron fucking goes in, no one even touches him, foul. And you gotta be shitting me. Fucking player's laying in a pool of blood, and LeBron doesn't get touched, and he gets the fucking foul. That's how fucking LeBron won championships. Piece of shit. No, I fucking couldn't stand the NBA when they were just giving LeBron the win every time like that. And he's like, oh, I'm the best basketball player. Yeah, best basketball player fucking crying, getting people to fucking give you privilege. That's what you had. Jeez. <laughs> you, know, you can tell, like, I get pretty passionate about basketball. I was thinking I should do more basketball reviews things, but no one really liked my last one. And... I figure if I'm not getting any likes, I'm going to stick with the video game stuff for now. Alright, so there's only one Uncle Joe. Mm. Yeah, so I'll link Uncle Joe with her. Critical damage plus three, 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 one. That's fucking huge. All right. Oh, fucking what do you know? What are the odds that she's the one on a tavern task? Oh, God. It's like sometimes the fucking 
the luck is just stacked against you, right? Now, I don't want to be ragging on LeBron too much. I hope he has some luck, and I hope he doesn't get injured, actually, so that when we, if the Heat beat him, at least they can say they beat him fair and square. None of this fucking getting something handed to them. I used to hate Jimmy Butler a little bit because he almost beat us when he was playing for the Philadelphia 76ers and Kawhi Leonard hit that fucking game winning shot and eliminated him anyway so I really don't hate him that much. Actually I love him if he can beat LeBron. <laughs> hey, did you guys ever hear the rumor that Jimmy Butler is actually an illegitimate son of Michael Jordan? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I could totally see it though. The amount of skills and stuff it's like man that would make a lot of sense. Because, man, he's really good. I think Jimmy Butler's better than LeBron. Like, the refs aren't giving fucking Jimmy Butler a whole bunch of crybaby calls. That's for sure. Now, to be fair to the refs, they probably did give more calls to LeBron. Just so that the NBA star player doesn't get injured. And if they have to protect the league and protect all the league revenue. So, I guess to some degree, cut him some slack. I'd probably do the same thing in their situation. Alright, what else is there that I have to fight now? I don't think anything, huh? Eh? Did the expedition. There's nothing left on campaign as far as I know. The next campaign thing will be 146. Isn't it funny they want to give me a level 90 sword? It's like, really? Does someone make it this far in the game and level 90 equipment's good? It's like, I'm at like a level 110 equipment. This is garbage. I'll throw it right in the trash as soon as they give it to me. Or the recycle machine or whatever it's called. Yeah, that's what I should do. I haven't recycled anything in how many months? Or weeks. <laughs> Probably not months. Oh yeah, bulk disassembly, that's what I want. I used to do it all manually with that smart assemble, but then I found out how bulk assembly works. When you click this, you can, these are all the smaller power level ones. So now I'm left with just some of the good ones. Come on, what's going on? I hit smart, it does nothing. I hit disassemble, it does nothing. Smart is supposed to put them all in here. What the fuck? Alright, you piece of shit. I'm just fucking doing that then. You whore. Why the fuck the buttons don't work? Piece of shit. <laughs> right, should I just disassemble all these? Yeah, there's no way I can forge any of them. They're all too useless. Yeah, they're probably asking me this because you could join 370s to make it 80. And then what am I going to do with those? Use 380s to make a 90? It's like, what the fuck? It's a waste of my time. Alright, so we got all that shit cleaned up. Pass card really hasn't been very active lately. It says max. What does that mean? E -P EXP max? So why can't I claim it if it's at the max? I don't get it. Consume 500 bullets. Oh, so we'll be getting close to winning that one. Alright, so what do we got? Five minutes on the show left. Let's do some more dungeon battles and see what I can win there. Well, I should feel sorry for LeBron in a way. Or did you hear what happened with Adam Silver today? Oh, I never finished the John McAfee story. Let's do that one instead. Yeah, so John, when he got arrested for that whole deal, it's like I've been tracking John for a while, John McAfee, because he got into a lot of trouble a few years ago and I heard him on a radio show and he was trying to clear his name. And then as he was telling the story to clear his name, I'm like, dear God, man, this guy's guilty as you'd sin. Like, you can even hear it in his voice. He's like a total scam artist. And I was like, what the fuck? But I shouldn't really be saying that in case of slander, so maybe he's still fucking not 
guilty. We'll see what happens with the court cases once they start extraditing them. No, but I was looking into the history of, uh, what is it, uh, John McAfee, and you probably recognize his name from the, the virus software, antivirus software. And I was listening to him on the radio, and he's like, he happened to find some viruses that no one had seen before, and he developed an antivirus for them. I was like, okay, that more sounds like you developed the fucking viruses and the antivirus, and then sold it, the cure to people. And then I found out, guess who's his best friend? Bill Gates. So isn't that neat? The guy who's like in charge of making viruses or not making viruses apparently, making vaccines for us or antiviruses, <laughs> has a history of working with a guy who made viruses and then sold the cure. And then I was thinking, geez, Bill, it's like, uh, you like John's fucking business model so much you applied it to your own life, right? <laughs> Nah, I shouldn't be so mean to Bill Gates. He's come to our city a few times. He had a big fucking scandal at the university. <laughs> no, he went to our university and he was bragging to everyone, or doing a speech, saying that everyone has to cut back, shouldn't eat so much, shouldn't consume so much, the earth is running out of everything and you have to try to cut back. So everyone's like, oh, Bill Gates is all about for cutting back. And then uh, I was working with this one guy who happened to be a limo cleaner. And he's like, yeah, guess whose limo I cleaned? And I'm like, whose? And he's like, Bill Gates. I'm like, really? What was in it? He's like, you'll never believe it. I'm like, what? And he's like, Bill Gates, when he went to McDonald's, he ordered everything on the menu, like the whole store's menu. And then guess what? He ate one burger and threw the rest in the trash in the limo. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? Is that what he did right after the speech telling everyone to conserve stuff? <laughs> Better not be wasteful. You gotta save everything for Bill. <laughs> yeah, it's like, after that story, I never trusted Bill Gates again. I was like, okay, so he's totally doing the opposite of what he says to do. I know I'm guilty of doing that sometimes, too. I'm the king of contradiction, so Bill, me and you, we could get along together, maybe. <laughs> Imagine Bill Gates is a clone evolution player and he's watching the show. He's like, come on, man, be nicer to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I shouldn't say that because when I got into the ancient mystery research stuff, I would post stuff and I'd laugh. I'd be like, oh, what happens if someone who's like my idol happened to read this and they would find it so funny. And then after a while, I'd be reading the comments and seeing who liked it. I'd be like, holy shit, some of my idols actually did like the post. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know they were fucking able to see my posts, let alone like them. What happened was I was publishing it on a popular ancient mystery website, so or Facebook page. So I guess they were members of that and I didn't even know. So when it got onto their pages, they fucking liked it. I was like, holy. It's like, that's pretty wild, eh? Like when you're an author about a certain subject and you have a hero that's also been like famous for years, then you're like, man, when he recognizes your work and likes it, it's like such vindication. It's like, I think that was better than any money I could have gotten paid. And what it was is one of the radio show hosts that listens or does one of the most popular ancient mysteries radio shows. I listened to his show all the time. And then he was one of the ones that liked it. I was like, holy shit, that was sweet. <laughs> oh, my stomach is hurting bad. <laughs> as soon as I'm done here, I'm not gonna be watching basketball. <laughs> Cancel that plan. I'm gonna be running to the washroom and then watching basketball. Ooh. Hopefully no blood, just pray in no blood. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I keep getting the bad crow's feet. I realize, because I'm always going like this. Oh, and then that's not good for your skin. <laughs> no, so one of, one of the stories John McAfee was telling too on that radio interview is that he went up in, to Belize, this country in South America, I guess, and he built a big drug lab. But he was trying to say, oh yeah, he built a drug lab and had it filled with hookers and stuff. And then uh, he said that uh, the authorities got called on him because he got into a fight with his neighbors or that he wouldn't bribe the police or something. So he was saying that he was refusing to bribe them. And then what happened too is he bought a whole bunch of guard dogs so they guard his place instead of using the police. So then... Uh, Apparently his neighbors were constantly getting harassed by these guard dogs or like barking at them and trying to bite them constantly. So eventually one of the neighbors poisoned the dogs. 
So then John McAfee got so upset about the dogs that the neighbors died, but he wasn't the one that killed them. <laughs> so I don't know how that worked, but <laughs> apparently John's innocent. I'm sure because of any slander rules that he could be innocent. <laughs> No, and then apparently the Belize government found the, the neighbors dead, and then they tried to arrest John. But when they were trying to arrest him, he faked having a heart attack. And then once he was on the way to the hospital, he managed to escape out of the country. So he never actually had to face charges and investigation to find out who killed those people. Oh yeah, and then recently in the news, John McAfee was bragging that he's immune to COVID. He was showing that he licks shopping cart handles and he licks his shoes and he laughs at people that get infected. And I was like, well, what happened? Did he get like some sort of vaccine that made him immune? Or maybe Bill Gates already had the vaccine the whole time and he gave it to his friend in order to save him. <laughs> or it's just maybe he's like a freak like that. They're saying he was paying a lot of the prostitutes to do scat stuff to him. So yeah, that's, that's strong possible. Oh, look, I want a purple chip and gold. That's pretty sweet. Now, not to accuse John McAfee of that, because there's actually a lot of the friends that I have on my Facebook from the, the old work I used to do in paranormal stuff. They actually know John McAfee and have him on their friends list, so I should be a little bit careful making fun of him, because he probably could hear it. <laughs> now, I was thinking if I wanted to get along with John, we both like partying pretty hardcore, so that would probably be fun. Did you call? Here, one second. Now, and me and John both like computers a lot, so I'm sure we'd get along with that. The partying, computers. Hey, I probably wouldn't mind some of the babes you got, but I wouldn't touch any hookers, to be honest. <laughs> now, I'm even such a germaphobe, I fucking can't stand dating a girl who's had more than five partners, let alone fucking a hooker. <laughs> Oh yeah, what was the other thing John said? Yeah, that's where I was getting into. The big thing. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. No, I was just getting the website. John actually has a connection to Bitcoin. Do you guys know what it is? Let's do a Bitcoin spin first. I'm at 32,371. Boom! 32,390. Woohoo! Yeah, big thanks to everyone who's helping with that. I'm almost at 40 referrals, guys. We're at 39, so shit, that's a pretty sweet army of people helping me. Appreciate every one of you. I like you guys better than me. <laughs> no, anyway, so what John was saying with Bitcoin, guess what he did? He did an interview on TV promising everyone that he would eat his own dick on live TV, like cut it off and eat it, if Bitcoin didn't reach a million dollars. Like one Bitcoin e equaling a million. And he gave like a timeline of when he would do it. So after people heard John McAfee say that, they're like, oh, it's guaranteed Bitcoin's going up to a million. So everyone started buying into it like crazy. Well, not everyone, but everyone he could trick. So guess how that ended up? Once the amount of time passed where it was like, oh, it didn't reach a million. All the investors are pissed at John because they're like, hey, man, you promised us it was going to reach a million. And then guess what he went on TV and said? It's like, aha, I was just joking, trying to rig the price of Bitcoin. I was like, what the fuck? He actually went and admitted to that? So man, that's pretty fucked. So if you're ever wondering why Bitcoin had those fucking giant leaps and falls, it's from people like John McAfee fucking manipulating the market. Oh, and they said terrorists. They said every time there's a terrorist attack, Bitcoin goes way up. So it's like anyone who's investing in Bitcoin is technically supporting terrorism. It's like, I don't really agree with that 100%, but I'm definitely not trying to support terrorism. I just want a Bitcoin. <laughs> but that's weird, eh? Like, John's got quite the colorful history. But who knows? Maybe all those accusations against John are false. Like, it wouldn't be the first time that women made up stories about guys that they're in ex-relationships with and stuff, right? And who knows when it comes to murder investigations, like, fuck, what the hell is going on in Belize? I have no idea. <laughs> So to be fair to John, all what I said is probably bullshit. <laughs> or Bill Gates is a total jackass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I would never assault someone. I'm just joking. Now I was thinking if it ever came down to it, I needed to fight someone. 
I would probably do what they used to do in the old days. I think I told you guys on shows before. In the old days when like gangs and biker gangs or even like just kids in school would start fighting with each other. Instead of breaking the laws and getting in trouble with the cops, what they, in the old days they used to do is they would go to the boxing academy. They'd be like, oh, you, you slept with my girlfriend or whatever, or you stole my weed. It's time we go to the boxing academy. So what they would do is they would go to the boxing academy, pay them, and be like, hey, we're going to do some sparring. We need to use your ring. And then they would just spar it out, right? And then you could tell, depending how heated the argument was, it was some pretty intense sparring, right? <laughs> So I remember people telling me stories, like even when they got in trouble with the cops, it's like the cops would do that in the old days too. Like if a cop was giving you a hard time, he pulled you over and arrested you or something, you'd be like, okay, buddy, but you want to meet me at the fucking boxing academy after? <laughs> and then the cops would sometimes agree and they would go and spar with people that they were arguing with. I was like, holy shit, like that's like controlled violence, right? It's like the violence releases the stress. And it's in a controlled fashion, so no one gets shot or anything, right? So as barbaric as that sounds, I think it's a pretty decent solution to problems compared to shooting people. <laughs> all right, so let's wrap up the show. We're all finished for today. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it to the patrons. You guys are the best. Society6, Swagbucks, Game Kit, Hideout, and Bitcoin. Lots of cool ways in that list of things that you can make money. All the links are below. Just hit the more information button to see them. And with those, you'll find the, excuse me, the virtual made sex machine link. It's for adults and men only. But yeah, if the ladies need one, they know who to call. <laughs> I can hook them up. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, anyways, what else do we got? What did I want to get today? Oh yeah, that's one of the new items I got. I should do that. Oh yeah, if you happen to get some orange crystal in your vaporizer and it tastes like shit, give the show a dislike. Or if you hate the show. But if you don't, and that doesn't happen, you can give the show a like. I really appreciate it. Alright, take care everyone. Make sure you never buy the products from my sponsor because it will ruin your life. Bye for now, everyone. See you tomorrow. Here's three things. Bye.